All right, uh, what's going on, people? Uh, today, I received in the mail an order I placed last week for some materials to complete my boat, uh, which is a 10 foot sailing dinghy, pram bow. And um, I had ordered or actually bought at a West Marine some months ago a uh, gallon uh, along with the hardener of the standard um, medium curing um, hardener with the uh, West Systems epoxy. At any rate, I'm a, about 60% complete the boat and I ran out. Um, I didn't, I've never built a boat before, so I, I didn't know exactly how much to, uh, it would take to finish. But that first gallon, along with the hardener, cost me about $140. Uh, I did buy it from West Marine. So I used West Systems Epoxy and Hardener, purchased at West Marine, which is probably like buying um, some toilet paper at Lord and Taylor or Macy's. Uh, <laughs> Um, didn't do, really do any sh uh, price checking around at that point in time. Just bought it because I knew where it was. So for the last few months for materials, I've been ordering from uh, Duckworks Boat Building Supply Online. So I just received um, some new material. So let's check it out. I received the Marine Systems Epoxy. Uh, no frills, a gallon worth which was $67.50 along with the marine epoxy hardener, standard hardener, which was a whopping $18, all right? So we're up to like $85, right? So that's nearly half of what I bought the first time from uh, West Marine for the West Systems. And I've got some wood flour. This is actually my second bag of wood flour. The first bag, the first uh, container of wood flour I bought from West Marine for $17, which is about half of what this is in terms of volume. Uh, and this cost me a whopping, drum roll please, $5.50. <laughs> so twice as much for a third, a little less than a third of the cost. And I got some phenolic micro balloons uh, to do some fairing with. I'm getting down to the end of the boat building process. So a lot of what I have left to do is fairing and just wetting up. Bought me some orlocks, which are brass orlocks that are pretty, pretty nice, pretty hefty, pretty sturdy. And they were, um, they were, I'm sorry, these are the top mounted Orlock sockets, and these were $11 for two. And I've got the actual Orlock here, which is, I'm really impressed with these. These are heavy, old school brass that I'm probably going to need two hands to get out of the bag, but oh, well, here they are. Ta-da! Beautiful. And they fit quite nicely inside of... Ooh, huh? <laughs> I don't have any help today. Uh, inside of the sockets. Nice action there. Full rowing. And I'm very happy with these. Very happy with my order from Duckworks Boat Building Supply. If you are a aspiring boat builder, I cannot recommend highly enough Duckworks. They are quick, they are thorough, and they have a great resource in Chuck, who's an actual boat builder or a small boat builder himself. So that's it for today's small video. I think someone had posted a comment on my uh, YouTube page about using other epoxies and, and other materials other than West Systems. Um, <laughs> and I just wanted to let you know that I, I have been ordering things from other places and doing my research as well. But thank you anyway, I appreciate that. Um, oh, one other comment. Um, 
I had previously purchased the pumps from uh, the West Systems pumps, and one of them broke. Um, you know, if you're doing a small mix-up, you know, maybe you want to use those. I'm just going to use measuring cups, inexpensive measuring cups. Plus, the pumps are very slow, and um, you know, it one of them broke on me, so I'm not going to be uh, wasting any more money buying the pumps um, for now. So we'll go ahead and use these. Use my trusty one dollar measuring cups and see how it all works out. Besides, all I have left to do now is um, some non-structural filleting and wetting out the boat um, for a, you know with um, fiberglass, fiberglass and epoxy for abrasion protection and to get it looking pretty. And that's about it. And then I'll be done. I still have the seats and stuff to build and oars to make and a mast to make and a boom. So <laughs> instead of this being a relatively brief project, it looks like it's going to be all summer and I might not even get to float my boat this summer. But what the heck, it's about the journey, right? Not about the destination. <laughs> all good sailors know that. So until next time, peace and blessings.